Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'll be showing you hyperlinks in HTML. So without further ado, let's get right into it. You can use hyperlinks in HTML to connect different web pages, images, or any external links. The tag in HTML that I use to create links is called an anchor tag, which is this, A. Anchor tag is a container tag, which means it has a start tag and an end tag. The syntax of a hyperlink in HTML is A, href, URL and then link text and then slash a URL is where the page should be directed which in simpler term means the address of the site that you want to be open so for example if you wanted to put a link that opens YouTube over here you would write the address of YouTube which would be this www.youtube.com link text is the text that shows up on the web page it will be a text that acts as a link so if you click on that the link will be open Links in HTML also have a title attribute which gives further information when your mouse hovers over it. So after this, you can just give a space, write title equals to, and in double quotes, you can write whatever information. So for example, a link. So when your mouse hovers over uh, the link, this text will be displayed. It also has a target attribute which specifies where the link document will be open but you can use this uh, only in frame set I've already made a video on HTML frames which will be linked down in the description if you want to see that you can also use images as links to open web pages but you need to know that the HTML file and the image need to be stored in the same folder so the way you use images to open an HTML link is this then you make another pair of angular bracket which are these you remove link text because there really no link text. We're using an image to open a link. And then you write IMG in caps, SRC, which means source, equal to sign. And in double quotes, you write the name of the image and its type. So to give an example, you write the name of the image. Let's just say in this case, the name of the image is an image. And then you write its type. So it can be PNG, JPG, all that. So now I'll show you how to check the exact name and the file type of an image so just go to where the image is stored on your desktop then hover over the image and right click it and click the bottom most option which says properties after you click on properties a new window will open on the top it will tell you the exact name of the file and right below it will be the file type you can just copy and paste uh, the name into the notepad and uh, write the file name and then you'll be good to go so after copying it and pasting it notepad now we have this the image and the HTML file are stored in the same folder, so when I open it on the web page, the image will be displayed and I can click on it to open the link. Now when you're using images to open links, it also has a few attributes. It has a height and width attribute, which is pretty self-explanatory. It will just say its height and width, so you can write, pick a number over here, which has 10%. And then in the width, you can write the same thing, such as 20%. And then uh, it has another attribute called border. This will just give a border around the image. So you can just write the density of the border. You can write any number. You can just try experimenting with different ones. So five. And that's how, uh, and that's how you use images to create links in HTML. Now I'll show you an example by creating a web page, a main web page, and another web page. So I'll be right back. So now I have created two web page, a main page and the second page which opens after you click the link you don't need to care about this code this is just to add the text and make it bolder and bigger you don't need to mind this so here on the main page i have used an image to open the second page and on the second page there is a, a link uh, which you can click on so here's the code a anchor tag href and then this is the name of the second page page two uh, do not forget to put dot html at the end because otherwise uh, the page will not open and then we have used an image to open it so we have used this tag img src equals the name of the image its type and then i've uh, used these attributes height width and its border and then you close the anchor tag and this will show this will display an image on the main page which you can click on to go to the second page i'll now be showing you the code of the second page here's the code for the second page Again, you don't need to mine any of these codes, this is just for the text. So, here's the code. 
uh, which is required for the link. So again, a href, and then the name of the first page. I set it as page one dot html. So I wrote that. This is the link text. This will be the text that will be displayed in the browser. And I have to click on this to go back to page one and then anchor tag. And I'll display it in the browser. So here's the main page open in the browser. The text that I wrote in the notepad is displayed over here. And here's the image that is acting as the link. It has the same height and width that I set as a notepad and has these blue lines which I set as the border. So now if I click on it, it takes me to the second link. And here is the link on the second page which takes me back to the main page. And this is the link text which I set in the notepad. So now if I click on it, it takes me back to the main page. So there you have it, hyperlinks in HTML. So that's gonna be it for today's video. Please drop a like if you find this useful and informative. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.